What is going on guys? My name is Baron or Developer B and welcome back to episode one of my bucket coding tutorial series. And in this episode, we are going to be looking at console messaging. Now what console messaging is, I'm just going to give you a little quick definition of what console messaging is. It's pretty much whenever you're sending a message to the console. And if you don't know what the console is, whenever you start your server and you see it loading on your terminal, that's pretty much the console and we are sending messages to it. So once you open that console, you can see the messages that the plugin sends only through the console, not in game. You only see it in the console. It'll make more sense once we're done with this, if you still don't know what I'm talking about, but let's go ahead and get right into this. So as you can see, we have our workspace. It's empty. I cleared out the uh, plugin from last time. So let's go ahead and create a new module. So same exact thing we did last time. If your workspace did not look like this, or you don't even have anything set up at all and you're just watching this video, go to my episode zero and watch that video before you come to this one. It pretty much gives you a general layout of how to download everything and how I set up my workspace to be like this with nothing there and stuff. So just go ahead, take a second. I'll have a thing at the bottom and just go ahead and watch that video if you haven't already. If you have, great. Let's go ahead and get started. So pretty much in your module name, you're going to type console messaging. So just the name of your plugin, hit finish, and this will come up. And you guys know what this means, but we are going to not, don't rush into creating a class at first. I'm gonna show you guys how to properly organize your classes in your plugin. So go ahead and create a new class, but don't name it anything yet. Just watch what I do. So I'm going to name it me.developerb.console messaging dot console messaging now you guys are probably like what the heck does this mean like why are you having all those dots and why why is this like this why do you have me dot developer b well this is the general layout for how you create your plugin so it's pretty much only for organizing organization purposes so pretty much what we have here this first little part is just one one part so you, have, you want to have your server IP or your website. So I don't have a website. So if you don't have a website, just type me dot and then your IGN. That's, that's what I learned to do. So just go ahead and do that. And if you have a website, then just type it backwards. So like com.mindplex if you're, if you're making one for Mindplex or something, which you probably aren't because <laughs> Mindplex developers are very advanced. So or net.highpixel, that type of thing. So pretty much just type it backwards. I'm gonna leave mine at um, me.developerb. And there we go. And console messaging, this is just the name of the plugin. You wanna have a package for the name of your plugin. And then I'm naming my main class the same as the plugin. So that's what I've been doing and that's what pretty much everyone else does. They don't type main or like plugin or something. Just name, just use the name of your plugin. And these dots separate a package. The end one, since we're creating a new class, the ending one, since there's no dot after it, this is a class. So go ahead and as you can see, if we typed another dot, it would just name it console messaging dot whatever. But we're just gonna have this. This is gonna be our class and the everything before it that's separated by dots are the packages. So go ahead and create that. I'm going on too much. It will look like this. So you have me dot developer b dot console messaging and you're like, what? I thought they were separated into all different packages. They are, but they're portrayed like this. So what you want to do to show all the different packages is go right up here and uncheck compact empty middle packages, which is going to be checked. And as you can see, they are all different packages. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Before we start doing any coding, we have to make sure that we implement the craft bucket. So go ahead and add to modules, console messaging, apply, and okay. So now we have the craft bucket API in here and we are ready to start coding. If you haven't noticed already, the colors and this auto-generated thing are a little bit different. I just changed it to what it is on my other computer. If you guys want to know how to do this, if you want to know how to change the colors of the text in your coding workspace, then just hit me up in the comments below and I will 
make a video on that in the future but for right now and i'll show you guys how to do it but for right now let's just get into coding so every single main class of your plugin has to extend java plugin like this extends java plugin and what java plugin is is it's pretty much the base class for a plugin as you can see you can open open this and this is the general class for everything you have to have your main class extend java plugin or else your plugin will not work because this is what makes your project a plugin that's pretty much self-explanatory it makes it a plugin that's all it does so make sure to extend that and you get access to all of the different things that you have inside of java plugin one of those things being the on enable method now what does the on enable method do so just type public void on enable there we go so what does this mean exactly public void on enable public void on enable is pretty much whenever your server is starting and it's enabling your plugin that's whenever this method is ran and everything inside of this method is run once you start your server i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna think that you know what a method is and pretty much what all of this stuff means because it's pretty basic like what a method is if you don't know what a method is then go watch the new boston tutorials or something and he will teach you what a method is and everything so if you don't know what any of this is that i'm doing go and watch him watch the beginner java tutorials come back and you'll know exactly what i'm doing so here is our on enable and we are going to want to run our console messaging in the on enable because that is where the server is on enabling and this is the perfect place to run a console message now you can run them in different places but i'm just choosing because this is the most basic way of showing console messaging this is the most basic plugin you can make in the entire world so you can either type system.out.println and this will type an info message so if you want to say hi what's up or something you can do that just like it would output in the console down here and outputs in the terminal but if you want to specify what your you want your message type to be there are three different message types there's info warning and severe and you can label them differently i'll show you later but they will be labeled differently in the console and i'll show you how to do that right now so pretty much what you want to do is access the bucket class and there are tons of different methods in here that you can do it's a very broad class there are a lot of broad classes in java but i mean not in java in bucket but this one is one of the main ones that you're going to be using so just type bucket dot get server dot get logger dot and then this is where you can log everything so info warning or severe so those are the three different types we're going to display each of them so um this is an info message exclamation point and then you can type bucket dot get server dot get logger dot warning watch out your computer is going to blow up something no not complete going to blow up i don't know why i typed complete i was not thinking about that but and then we can type a severe which will be um your computer blew up you didn't listen to the warning or something i don't know <laughs> i'm just randomly typing stuff so there we go those are the three different types of console messages really basic stuff and let's go ahead and create an artifact for this so go into project structure artifacts that's not there anymore let's create a new one called console messaging and do the same exact thing that i showed you how to do last time we almost forgot to make the plugin on YML. Never forget that. I forget a lot, but don't forget ever. Just go in your source and create a new file called plugin.yml. <laughs> almost forgot about that, but whenever I'm creating the artifact, it reminds me that I have to do this. So let's go ahead and do this. This pretty much labels your plugin and registers it into the server whenever it's starting up. So it's the server is going to look to this file 
and get all the information the basic information like the version the name the main class which extends java plugin and yeah so it's pretty basic let's go ahead and type name console messaging so just the name of it whatever you want to call it main now this is how you do it you type me slash developer b or me dot developer b dot console messaging dot console messaging there you go now version is going to be 1.0 basic and that's it that's all you have to do you can add author to just to, if you want to and then this is how we're going to register commands later which is going to be in the next tutorial but we're not gonna yeah we're gonna register commands in the next tutorial and I'll teach you how to do that so now that that's done let's go back to our artifact let's change this to our server so just go to users desktop server plugins and let's go ahead and grab that file let's go back down to right here where is it right here and then uh, console messaging source plugin on YML there so apply okay we're good we're ready to start so build artifacts build and there we go so let's go ahead and go inside of here go to server plugins and there you go you created your first plugin congratulations now let's see if this runs so go into start and click it and your server will start up and when it starts up you should see some messages there it is enabling we don't have any errors hi what's up info as you can see this is what it would say uh, these are the tags I was talking about so hi what's up info this is an info message then warn see it says warn watch out your computer is going to blow up error your computer blew up you didn't listen warning <laughs> I forgot to put you didn't listen to the warning I just put you didn't listen warning oops so as you guys can see that's a pretty basic explanation on console messaging really simple and I'm sorry if this was kind of boring this is the really basic stuff just to show you like how the plugin works and everything and eventually we're gonna get in some cooler and fun stuff such as commands but Every time you start bucket coding, every time a new person does, you want to learn this because you get a general idea of how the plugin works and what you have to do with the main class and all that and what it means. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to recommend any videos that I should do in the future, just leave a comment or just message me or put it in my channel discussion or something. Just tell me what kind of video you want, what you want to learn, and I'll add it to a queue that I'm doing, whether it's advanced or more basic. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in episode two where we learn how to make some commands. So see you guys there.